Hi, this is Tim, and this week's automation question comes from one of the comments of our introduction to analog video. Your automatic control of the signal with your simulator looks interesting. Can you explain what's going on? Sure. In our introduction to control panel video, we're using our SIM ALP2 to adjust the analog signal to a drive. Um, and, but it only, instead of using the up and down arrows, we were using the sweep cycle feature of it. So it would automatically go up and down. We were using it to dim a light just to show how analog works. Uh, so to get to that, you just go to, we'll start with either one of our milliamp signals or you can start with the voltage source, which is what we were doing in that video. And then you can use your up and down arrows to go to any signal that you want, or you can press the OK button and get other options. So you have sweep, step, and a custom profile. We were using that sweep cycle. And so you have the full sweep time, and that's the time from your low value to your high value. And then you have your start value, which right now we have at minus 10 volt. And then you have a final value, which we have at plus 10 volts. So it's going to go from minus 10 to plus 10 to minus 10, and just keep going back and forth. So when you have those where you want them, just go to run cycle, and it'll start running up and down through them. At any time while you're running up and down, you can hit the OK button to pause it at the particular value it's at. And then you can hit OK again to resume. Also, the up button has one of the best features you press up, you actually get a graph of what's going on. And maybe we'll do another video showing the custom profile because that's one that it's really helpful on. But so you can watch this and kind of see over time where it's been. That way when you look back, you're like, oh, there's what we were looking for. You can come over and you can say, okay, well, five seconds ago, there it was at 20 milliamps or something. Hope this video has been helpful. This is something we're going to start trying to do, uh, kind of an automation question of the week. Uh, you know, we, we get a lot of feedback, a lot of good comments, a lot of recommendations for videos, but sometimes those videos, they could be weeks or maybe even months out. So we're going to try to answer a question that actually came in that week that we think would be good to share with all of you. Be sure to ask your questions in the comments, and yeah, we will try to answer them. Not sure what day of the week this will actually come out on. And uh, Question Tuesday just keeps coming into my mind, but Tuesday is one of our busier days, so I think this will be a Monday or Friday thing. Not really sure. Also, we might make it a live stream just because it is going to be a much more uncut video, so we may just hit the live stream button and go with it. That way, if you have a particular question about what we're talking about, you can immediately ask and maybe we can answer it. This is kind of something new, so put your suggestions in on how you think it should work, and yeah, ask your questions. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.